time of giving to the Lord, redigging the wells of revival. How many have already registered for this conference? Put your hands up. I see a couple hands this side and just a couple hands that side. Why? Let me take the privilege to ask you why. What is the reason you have not registered yet? You know, if you want to leave a better America for your children and your grandchildren, I encourage you to come with us. Go to the seat of power and pray. If you were in India, you just cannot go to a building like that. The parliament, they would not probably allow a, a ministry to go in and fast and pray. But this nation, you know, it's a different nation. I'm not saying that was very easy for us to go and do it, something like that. You can put a visitor's pass and they will allow you to go into the Capitol building, yes, but to do a to do something like what we are doing. It's totally God's grace, and I am humbly mentioning that. I have, I have to humbly mention that it is God's abundant grace that is allowing us an open door to go. Only 300 people are allowed. God is calling the Gideon's army. The Gideon's army, I'm not the preacher for the day, but God called 300 Gideon's army and there was a fire in that pot. There are things God wanted him to do. That fire in that pot. You know, we are like that pot, people of God. You need that fire in your heart to rekindle the things so that you can pray for this nation. God said, my house. God is counting on you. He's saying, my house shall be called a house of prayer. If you don't pray, who else will? And if you don't pray now, when? When will you pray? This week when I was looking at the news, my eyes welled up. Lord, is this America? What's going on? They are, they are doing so much wicked things in, in this nation. It was not like that when I came here in 97. So I urge you to go and register. I just take the privilege to talk to you like that because, you know, you have come to God's house. His house will be a house of prayer. Yes, that's what I want to underline today. And I encourage you to come. And then yesterday we had a beautiful service. Praise God for the volunteers. We had everyone volunteering. Thank you for all your efforts. You do God's work like that. God will take care of your work. God will take care of your visa. God will give you houses that you did not build. God will give you vineyards that you did not plant. That's what God will do for you. It was such a spiritual blessing for so many of God's people with that. Let's go into a time of giving to the Lord this morning. I said, God, what is the verse you would give me? God gave the same verse that I have spoken here in this place many times. Malachi chapter 3 and verse 10. What is the objective of this verse? God is not looking to get your money. No. Silver and gold is his. He wants a cattle. He wants the cattle on a thousand hills. He doesn't need our anything. He formed us in our mother's womb. We brought nothing into this world and we will not take anything out of this world. But why would God ask us to bring all your tithes, people of God, just for that one reason that there may be food in God's house. Say food in God's house. Say it one more time. Food in God's house. That's right. That's why God wants you and I to bring the whole tithe, all the tithes into the storehouse. It's a matter of obedience whether or not you will do it. You know? If you will be willing and obedient, you will eat the good of this land. doesn't matter how many jobs, how many car companies you may run. You may run two companies, two, three jobs. doesn't matter. If you want to eat the good of this land, I am here to tell you, be willing and be obedient. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your word, Father God. Lord, your word says, bring all the toys into the storehouse that there may be food in my house. And Lord, you have said, try me now in this. 
says the Lord of hosts, if I will not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you such a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive it, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Not even as we have brought our tithes. Lord, that's that one objective that there will be food. In your house, oh God, you are such a zealous God for your house. You want your house to have food. You want your house to have prayers. Thank you, Father. We thank you and we praise you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. We pray and all of God's people said, Amen. Amen. Amen.